Let's understand 5G standalone architecture and the different nodes that are available in a core network. As we know, the architecture is splitting the control and the user plane separately in 5G. Let's talk about the control plane connectivity first. Any user who wants to connect to the network first has to connect with the AMF, the very first node which comes into the picture, which is access and mobility management function. AMF is basically responsible for authentication for each user which is coming to the core network. And AMF does this in conjunction with the authentication server function, which is AUSF. AUSF will continuously talk to UDM, which is a unified data management function, which has all the data related to the user subscription. Once the UDM confirms that, okay, this particular UE is legitimate and it can subscribe to the services which is asking for, it will then go to AUSF and AUSF confirms it back to AMF. Now, this is about the initial access authentication Apart from that, AMF is also responsible for mobility management. So if user is moving from one cell to another cell in the radio access network, the AMF will take care of those mobility management. Another important component is a PCF, which is a policy control function. It takes care of what kind of services the user is using and then accordingly record the billing. It will also take care of that even if the user is allowed to roam around or not between the different regions and then also record the billing for that. So mobility management in terms of roaming that also be done by the PCF in this case. Another important component is SMF, which is session management function. It take care of all the sessions, the protocol data unit, which is happening between the uh, user and the core network that will be taken care by SMF. Initial IP allocation to the UE that will also be done by SMF. Any traffic steering, how the PDU sessions will be moved from core network to the UE or vice versa that will be done by SMF also. Let's look into the user plane connectivity which is done by the UPF which is user plane function. So any user data now which has to be transmitted between the device and the core network that will be done by UPF. It will take care of how the packets will be routed and forwarded between the core network and the user. So here we see that how the QoS handling will be done and how the UPF will be connected to the external data network so that the information will be passed on from the external network to the UE in an appropriate manner. And it will also handle the QoS in terms of network slicing. So this is broadly about the different components of the 5G architecture.